let me take it from here, Molly. <laughs> somebody need to be fired. Now, I don't know who, but somebody got to go. At the very least, a suspension. Now, I don't know if it was the doctors and the trainers that examined him at halftime of the Buffalo game, put him back in. I don't know if it's additional medical personnel that were involved that gave the okay for him to be on the field last night. But listen to what the, the what folks have been saying since last night transpired with Tua. They say you had a concussion, and obviously it's easier to get another one. Within a span of four to five days, I don't care what anybody says. I don't want to hear anything about a back. I didn't see him hold his back. I didn't see him put his arms in his back. Not one time Sunday. I saw him get up. I saw that gross mobile instability. He sat, he got up, and he damn near collapsed right back down. I'm looking at Mike McDaniels, the coach. I'm wondering, what the hell are you thinking? Now, some people would say, hey, you're the coach. If the medical staff gives you the okay to play a player, then you go ahead and you play the player. But you're a human being. You got two eyes. You know what you saw out there. What about that? I'm looking at the NFLPA. Get your investigation going. Keep pushing. The NFL, do the same thing. Find out what the hell went on. And guess who else I'm holding accountable to some degree? His teammates. I want to go to Bart when I say this, because I know Bart is on the set sitting right next to you, Molly. Yeah. You're a player. You know what comes with this game. You are out on that field wearing the same. I'm glad I just saw Swaggoo. I didn't see you for a second, Swaggoo. I see you now. Thank you. Welcome to the show. I'm, go I'm going to <laughs> defer to the both of y'all when we talk about the players in this regard. You put on the same helmets, the same shoulder pads, Knee pads might be a little different depending on the player or whatever. You out on that football field, you're taking hits. You understand better than most, better than almost any of us, what comes with the game. When you saw him get up and then damn near collapse against the Buffalo Bills on Sunday, okay? What about you stepping in and saying, yo, bro, you need to get up out of here. You don't need to be on this field right now. I forgot the brother that was on. <clears throat> That's the NFL show last night yeah. that brought up how one of his teammates, he had been concussed, and he tried Whitworth. to go out there, and the Whitworth, right? And he said, hey, Andrew Whitworth, and he said, hey, one of my teammates came up to me and said, no, he went up to the coach and said, he can't go back in there. So we, we've been bragging about, if you Tyreek Hill and the others, you bragging about two and what he going to bring to the table. you bragging about the, the accuracy. And I'm not saying anything was intentional on the part of the players. I don't mean that way. I'm not trying to imply that any player doesn't care about two. And that's not where I'm going. I'm talking about the knowledge that you have about the game since you are a participant. How in God's name do you see what you saw in Buffalo in, the uh, in Miami against Buffalo in the first half, you're perfectly okay with Tua coming out there in the second half, and then you got him on the field in less than five days for another NFL game. No one is safe here. Somebody needs to be suspended at yeah. the minimum, possibly fired, and everybody as an organization within the Miami Dolphins, as far as I'm concerned, got their hands dirty in all of this because you allowed this dude to get out on that field after you saw what happened this past Sunday. Floor's y'alls. I mean, we, we all take a hair at risk, right? We know what we sign up for. We know that the disclaimer that on the back of that helmet says could cause, you know, um, head trauma and, and potentially maybe death. We all take that a hair at risk. But in, in the NFL, we have this thing that you call soft pressure. Nobody's going to directly say something to you. They may go around the, 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 the facility and say, hey, man, come on, man, you tough, right? Or, hey, man, you, you good, right? And that's soft pressure. Now, understand where Tua is coming from. He's a young player that has been scrutinized and really wasn't the, the quarterback that, of choice of the last regime. This regime came and gave him a, a clean slate. Everybody hands is dirty, including Tua. Tua is taking this inherent risk because he understands that he's eligible for a bag at the end of the season. And he understands that the knock on him is that he can't stay healthy. But sometimes you have to protect the player from himself. And what happens is, like, yesterday Miami put the NFL, the future of the NFL at risk because every parent sitting with their child was watching that game, saw what happened to Tua Tungavailoa, and said, why would I subject my child to that, right? That's why, you know, the NFL has to really take a hard stance because we're talking about the future of our game. We all know that we take risks. We know that we play a violent sport. We know that injury and, and, and head trauma is a part of it. And we all have a certain amount of 
uh, head trauma that we're willing to take because of the compensation that we get. But I've played this game 24 years of my life, and I've never hurt my back and shook my head. We knew exactly what happened if you're a former player. When he shook his head, he was trying to cling the cobwebs out, and we knew that it was a head trauma. Now, yesterday when you saw him get slammed, it wasn't as – I've seen much more devastating hits to the head. But he hit his head in the exact same spot that he hit it the day the, – the week before. And like you said earlier, um, Stephen, it's not the initial hit of the head, the first concussion. It's the second concussion that does the most – trauma because the brain hasn't had time to heal. A concussion is a bruising of the brain when the brain crashes into the skull when it has a sudden stop. So once his head hits the ground, his brain is still moving. His head stops first, but the brain is still moving and the organ hits his head, hits itself on the back of the skull. And he hit it in the same spot. That's why the trauma was twice as bad. The NFL has to take a hard stance, but they'll have somebody fall on the sword because Mike McDaniels can exalve himself and say he will never put a player at risk. Football is about that. They always put it at risk. That's what, that's what the Oxycontin is for. That's what the Tordal shots are for. That's what the Percocets are for. But when you come with head trauma, we know better now. And Tua doesn't have the same power that Ben Roethlisberger had five years ago when he self-reported, knowing that he had a family to prove that he had to take care of. He was good money-wise. Tua took this risk because he knows he needs to get the bag to secure the future of his family. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.